guys, this is Teacher Romel and today we are going to talk about ratio and proportion. So, welcome to another episode of my video. Okay, so what is proportion? Okay, parang madaling maintindihan natin. So, pag sinabi natin proportion ay ito yung 2 equal ratio. Okay? Two equal ratio forms a proportion. Okay, let's say for example, 3 is to 4, this is a ratio, is equals to 6 is to 8. Okay, so they are equal. How do we know if they are equal or not? Okay, meron tayong tinatawag na ito yung means and ito naman yung tinatawag nating extremes okay now paano natin malalaman if they are equal kung yung 3 is to 4 is equal to 6 is to 8 so meron tayong sinasabi na para maging proportion sila means should be equal to extremes. In short, the product of the means should be equal to the product of the extremes. So, yung multiply natin ito para malaman natin kung equal sila. So, 4 times 6 is 24. Diba? Then, multiply natin 3 times 8. 3 times 8 is also okay, 24. So, therefore, this is a proportion. So, proportion sila. Why? Because their means is equal to the extremes. Okay? So, that is what we call a proportion. Okay, let's have more ex uh, examples. So, example 1, tell whether the ratios form a proportion. So, sabihin natin kung ito ay proportion or not. 3 fourth is equal to 6 eight. So, 3, 4, 10, 6, 8 pala. So, pwede rin natin siyang isulat as 3 is to 4 is equals to 6 is to 8 or in fraction form. So, paano natin malalaman kung yan ay equal or if that is a proportion? So, same procedure, we multiply the means 4 and 6 is our mean. Okay? 4 and 6, 6 times 4 is 24 then 3 times 8 is also 24 so this is check so this is a proportion okay now if we are given like this nasa fraction siya so same procedure just cross multiply nyo lang so 3 times 8 is 24 then 4 times 6 is 24. So, they are also a proportion. Okay. Malinaw ba? Okay. Very good. Let's proceed. Okay. So, how about this example? Is this a proportion? Okay. Let's try to check. So, let's cross multiply. 2 times 4 is equals to 8. 5 times 1 is equals to 5. So, is this a proportion? Okay. No. So, this is not a proportion. Okay. Why? Because they have different product. Para maging proportion sila, they should have the same product. So, sabi nga natin kanina, the means, or the product of the means should be equal to the product of the extremes. Okay? So, kung nahihirapan kayong cross-multiply, pwede rin natin gawing ratio. 2 is to 5 is equals to 1 is to 4. So, I mean, sorry. Ayan, nalitutuloy ako. 1 is to 4. This is 1. Okay? 1. 1. So, 5 times 1, that is 5. Then, 2 times 4 is equals to 8. So, that is not a proportion. Okay? So, malinaw. Very good. 
Okay, so let us answer this learning task 1. Solve and determine whether each is a proportion or not. So write yes or no on your notebook. So let's start. So number 1, that is 2 pip and 3 port. So kung nahihirapan tayong tignan or i-compute, pwede natin i-rewrite as 2 over 5 is equals to 3 over 4. Or pwede rin natin, sabi ko nga, pwede natin sulat as ratio 2 is to 5, sorry, is equals to 3 is to 4. And then, tsaka natin compute. So, sa fraction, we cross multiply para malaman natin kung sila ay proportion. So, cross multiply, 2 times 4 is equals to 8. 5 times 3 is equals to 15. Okay, so they have different product. So, meaning, they are not proportion. So, kung dito naman, so multiply natin yung means 5 times 3 is 15 and then 2 times 4 that is 8. So, the same. Okay? The same outcome. So, 2 fifth and 3 fourth is not a proportion. So, our answer is no. Okay. Very good. Okay. Next, number 2. Let's see. 1 half and 9 over 18. Tignan natin. Okay, are you true? Okay, so tignan natin. So, 1 times 18 is 18. 2 times 9 is 18. So, they have the same product. So, meaning they are proportion. Okay, so our answer is yes. Next, number 3. 4 over 5 and 12 over 15. Okay. So, 5 seconds. Okay. Are you true? Okay. Tignan natin. So, cross multiply natin if they have the same product. So, 5 times 4. Uh, I mean, 4 times 15 is equals to that is 60. Okay. And then, 5 times 12 is also 60. Okay, so the same product. So, our answer is, again, yes, it is a proportion. Next, last number. 6 over 9 is equals to 12 over 18. Then natin. Okay, 5 seconds or 10 seconds. So, tapos na. Now, let's answer. Cross multiply natin. 6 times 18 is equals to that is 108. Okay, how about 9 times 12? So, 9 times 12 is is also 108. So, the answer is yes. Okay. Nakuha ba? Naka-perfect ba? Very good. Okay, so let's proceed to example number 2. So, we have here find the value of x in 2 is to 4 is equals to 3 is to x. So, I write natin 2 is to 4 is equals to 3 is to x is to x. So, sulat din natin sa fraction which is 2 over 4 is equals to 3 over x. So, alin mas madali sa inyo para sa pagko-compute? Naka-ratio or naka-fraction? Okay? Now, there are many process. Okay? Maraming ways, process para masolve natin ang problem ito. Okay? One is yung means and extremes. Multiply natin yung means. So, 4 times 3 is 12. And then, 2 times x dapat 12 din yung sagot. Diba? Para maging proportion siya. So, ano kaya yung number na pag minultiply natin sa 2, ang sagot ay 12? Okay? So, walang iba kundi... Okay. So, x is probably 6. Diba? So, kasi pag minultiply natin 4 times 3 is 12. So, 2 times 6 is also 12. So, therefore x natin is 
0.6 Okay, so that is one way Isa yun sa paraan Okay, so the same din sa fraction No, the same sa fraction Pag minultiply natin yan Cross multiply, this is 4 times 3 That is 12 Okay, so 2 times x Ano kaya yung x para maging Ang sagot natin is 12 So therefore, ang x natin ay 6, so 2 times 6 is equals to 12 Diba? So, madali So, another way is by computation. So, try natin compute. So, 2 is to 4 is equals to 3 is to x. So, gamitin natin yung means at extreme. So, first, yung means, yung unahin natin yung may x. So, x here is what we call the variable. So, 2 times x. So, we can say that 2 x is equals to tapos 4 times 3 4 times 3 okay so and then rewrite natin yung 2x is equals to 4 times 3 is 12 and then remain natin yung x doon kasi x yung hinahanap natin then yung 12 copyin natin then yung 2 doon sa kabila ilipat natin so magiging divided by 2. Okay? So, 2 divided by 2 is equals to 6. Okay? So, therefore, x is equals to 6. Okay? Now, let's proceed to learning task 2. Solve each proportion. Write your answer in your notebook. Okay, so, ito, number 1 is, ito yung number 1. 4 over 5 is equals to 16 over n. So, kanina, pinakita ko sa inyo, yung dalawang way so isa yung iniisip lang just thinking method and the other one is using computation yung ganito okay so since ang nawawala ay n so bibigyan ko kayo na another technique para madali nyo masolve okay so diba cross multiply natin this is cross multiplication so yung 4 Ang kakross niya is n, so variable. So, wag yan ang galawin natin. So, yung 5, ang kakross niya is 16. So, yan ang i-multiply natin. Okay? So, multiply natin. 5 times 16, that's equivalent to 80. Okay? That is 80. Now, 80. And then, yung natitirang number, which is 4, divide natin. Divided by 4. Okay? And... The answer is 80 divided by 4 is equals to okay, 20. Okay, so n is equals to 20. So, pag minultiply natin 4 times 20, that is also 80. So, pareho sila. No? 5 times 16 is 80. 4 times 20 is equals to 80. Okay, so n is equals to 20. Okay, so next number number 2 tayo, n over 3 is equals to 8 divided by 12, or 8 over 12. Okay, so cross natin, n and 12. Okay, wag yan unahin natin, so 3 and 8, ito yung may pareho, parehong digit. So 3 times 8 is equals to 24, di ba? And then, yung natitirang number, which is 12, yung katapat ng n, divided by 12 natin. Okay, so n, that is, 24 divided by 12 is, okay, 2. So, meaning, ang n natin is equals to 2. Check natin. So, kung n ay 2, natin, 3 times 8 is equals to 24. Diba? So, 2 times 12 is also, okay, 24. So, therefore, our answer is correct. And they are proportional. Okay? So, next one. Okay, so let's proceed to number 3. So, this is 18 over n is equals to 21 over 28. So, let's multiply again natin. Ano uunahin natin multiply? Ito ba? n times 21 or 18 times 28? Okay, so that is 18 times 28. Kasi, pag 21 times n, wala naman tayong makakuha ang sagot doon. So, 18 times 28 is equals to Ilan? Okay, very good. That's 500 
4. Diba? 504. And then, divided by what? Okay. Very good. Divided by 21. So, i-divide natin. Ano kaya yung sagot? 504 divided by 21 is equals to ilan? Okay, very good. That is 24. Therefore, yung n natin is equals to 24. Now, pag minultiply natin, 24 times 21, 504 din ba? 24 times 21? Okay, that is also 504. So, we need to say, our answer is correct. Okay, so let's proceed to number 4. So, number 4 tayo. 7 over 10 is equals to n over 30. So, again, lagay natin yung cross. So, ano yung multiply natin? 10 times n ba or 7 times 30? Okay, so may parang number. So, 7 times 30. So, that is equal to 210. Very good. Okay. Divided by what number? Okay, so that is divided by 10. And that is equals to? Okay, very good. Equal to 21. Therefore, our N is 21. So, try natin. So, 7 times 30 is 210. 10 times 21 is also 210. So, meaning, our answer here is correct. Okay? Naintindihan pa natin? Very good. Good job.